Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come with a very interesting problem. This problem is easy yet many people fail to solve it. So let's discuss this uh, problem here. A point mass is projected from the periphery inside a fixed vertical cylinder of uh, uh, on a smooth horizontal surface along a chord as shown in the figure. The point mass is projected at an angle of theta with the radial line. The coefficient of restitution is E for all collisions. What should be the value of angle of projection theta so that particle returns to the point of projection after three collisions with the cylinder? So this outer cylinder is fixed and this particle is projected on a horizontal surface in this direction. There is this uh, first collision, then particle is going in this direction, second collision, third collision and then particle is coming back to the point of projection. So let's discuss the concept part of it. So here we will take a scenario where uh, on a horizontal surface there is a particle which is approaching this at a V0 angle and its orientation with the normal is given as theta. And after collision this particle is going in some other direction and this angle is unknown to us. I am calling it as alpha and coefficient of restitution for this collision is E. So there is a very important part about uh, coefficient of restitution that it is applicable along the common normal all right it is applicable along the common normal here so by definition we can say this definition of e is relative velocity of separation divided by relative velocity of approach so here you can see that this particle though its overall velocity is in this direction but its component v naught cos theta this is going to be the approach velocity because the distance between the ball and uh, this plane is uh, decreasing because of v naught cos theta and this v naught sin theta is going to be parallel to the plane so after collision because during the collision the force which is going to act it will be acting along the normal i'm assuming here there is no friction so this force is going to act along the normal so change in velocity also will be along this line so this velocity component is going to be unchanged so here i can write this velocity component is v naught sin theta whereas along this line in order to find this vertical component or perpendicular to the plane component i can use the definition of e so if i use that i'll be getting v separation divided by approach velocity which is v naught cos theta so if i simplify this i am getting v separation is equal to e v naught cos theta now here i'm assuming this angle to be alpha so you can see here this angle is alpha and i can write this tan alpha is this length this component v naught sin theta divided by e v naught cos theta when i do that simplify this I am going to get tan alpha is equal to tan theta by E. I will be using this relation in order to solve the problem. And also, uh, though I am not going to require this uh, relation, but still, you can write the speed after the collision. That will be the com this component whole square plus this component whole square, total root of it. It's very simple. So, we will be getting V1 is equal to V0 root of sin square theta plus E square cos square theta. All right, now let's uh, discuss the problem. So here you can uh, uh, see, since this is uh, cross section wise, it is a circle and this particle is uh, going and hitting this point. So by symmetry, I can say if I draw this normal here, and this is going to act as normal. It will be passing through the center. So I can say this triangle is isocelest triangle. So if this angle is theta, this is going to be theta because these two lengths are equal. So this is theta here, this angle is going to be theta. So there is coefficient of restitution E here. So next angle when it is going, where it is going with the normal can be easily written as tan alpha is equal to tan theta by E. That is what I have used here. Similarly, now it is going in this direction and after some time it will make another collision with the cylinder and again I'll drop this uh, normal here. So same logic I'll be using here that this is isocelest triangle. So this angle is alpha, this angle is alpha and after collision it is going in some other direction where this angle is beta. So I can write this tan beta is nothing but tan alpha by E. That is what I have written here. This is the same result I am using for the next collision. Again, when it is reaching here, 
uh, this angle is beta similarly i can say when it is going and finally reaching at uh, this initial point of projection i can write this angle as gamma so here very easily i can say tan gamma is going to be tan beta by e all right so once I write these relations, then I'll look for uh, one more uh, constraint limitation or relation. And that is going to be this cyclic quadrilateral. I can say this total angle uh, sum is going to be 2 pi. There are many ways uh, of uh, claiming the same. So here also you can say uh, total sum of these angles is also 2 pi. So this is pi minus 2 theta, pi minus 2 alpha, pi minus 2 beta and pi minus 2 gamma. If you add all these angles, you will be getting this relation that 2 theta plus 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma is 2 pi. We could directly also we could write some of these angles. So here theta plus theta, 2 theta plus 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma. That total sum must be 2 pi. So here I can write theta plus alpha plus beta plus gamma is pi. Now I can uh, bring this beta plus gamma other side and uh, this relation I am going to get. Since I have relations here in terms of tan, I'll take tan both sides. And uh, if I simplify a bit, I am going to get uh, this relation. I'm not explaining the mathematics here. I think it's a simple mathematics. So in this uh, relation, when I simplify, I'm getting tan theta plus tan alpha, one minus tan theta tan alpha tan beta plus tan gamma divided by tan beta tan gamma minus 1 because of this negative sign otherwise here also 1 minus should have come but this minus minus will become plus and uh, this relation we are going to get so by using these uh, tan alpha tan beta and tan gamma relation i can easily say uh, tan alpha is tan theta by e and this tan beta is going to be tan theta by e square and this tan uh, gamma is going to be tan theta by e cube when I substitute these values in this relation and uh, simplify, it's a very simple uh, calculations, though it may look like bigger, bigger expressions. But trust me, it's very simple. When you will do that, you will realize it. All the terms are getting cancelled easily. And finally, I'm getting tan square theta is equal to e cube. Or you can say this tan theta is e to the power 3 by 2 or finally this angle is going to be theta is equal to tan inverse of e to the power 3 by 2 this is going to be the answer for this uh, problem i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem this is very simple problem yet challenging people are uh, miss this point people miss this point also they miss uh, these relations so i hope uh, you can remember it and it will boost your confidence in uh, solving such type of problems so if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share it with uh, your friends. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up with another problem very soon. Thanks for watching.